Hey everybody, Linus here. Today we're diving into something super exciting. GNOME 48 Alpha just dropped, and it's packed with features that are going to blow your mind. Let me tell you, it's looking pretty sweet. The developers have really outdone themselves this time. This is our first glimpse into the future of GNOME, and it's clear that a lot of thought and effort has gone into this release. And boy, are we in for a treat. From the moment you start using it, you'll notice the difference. From a brand new well-being panel to some slick app updates, there's so much to explore. GNOME 48 Alpha is packed with exciting new features and improvements that are designed to enhance your user experience. Now keep in mind this is an alpha release. That means it's still in development and might have a few rough edges. But don't let that stop you from taking it for a spin. Your feedback is crucial in making GNOME 48 the best release yet. In fact, your feedback is crucial in making GNOME 48 the best release yet. The developers are counting on you to help them fine-tune everything. In this sneak peek, we'll walk you through some of the most exciting features and improvements in GNOME 48 Alpha. We'll cover everything from the new well-being panel to the latest app updates. So buckle up and let's dive in. We're going to be checking out the new well-being panel, some awesome app updates, and a bunch of under-the-hood improvements that'll make your GNOME experience even smoother. This is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. There's a ton to explore in GNOME 48 Alpha. From performance enhancements to new customization options, there's something for everyone. We're going to be checking out the new well-being panel, some awesome app updates, and a bunch of under-the-hood improvements that'll make your GNOME experience even smoother. And don't forget, this is just the beginning. The final release will have even more features and improvements. This is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. There's a ton to explore in GNOME 48 Alpha. So stay tuned and let's get started on this exciting journey into the future of GNOME. All right, first up, let's talk about the star of the show, the well-being panel. This new feature is designed to help you take control of your digital habits and ensure you're maintaining a healthy balance between screen time and offline activities. It's like having a personal assistant that keeps an eye on your digital life. This bad boy gives you a central hub for managing all things related to your digital well-being. From tracking how much time you spend on different apps to setting goals for reducing screen time, the well-being panel has got you covered. We're talking screen time, app usage, and even those pesky notifications that always seem to pop up at the worst possible time. Imagine having all this information at your fingertips, allowing you to make informed decisions about your digital consumption. You can set daily limits for your screen time and app usage, and GNOME 48 will give you a gentle nudge when you're getting close to your limit. This way, you can avoid the dreaded screen time guilt and stay on track with your personal goals. No more feeling guilty about spending too much time scrolling through cat videos on the Internet. The well-being panel helps you strike a balance between enjoying your favorite online content and staying productive. But wait, there's more. GNOME 48 Alpha also introduces some small but mighty quality of life improvements. These enhancements might seem minor at first glance, but they significantly improve the overall user experience. For example, you now get those handy-dandy OSD notifications when you connect or disconnect your headphones. This feature ensures that you're always aware of your audio device status without having to dig through settings. No more fumbling around in the system tray to figure out why you can't hear anything. The OSD notifications make it clear and straightforward, saving you time and frustration. These little touches might seem minor, but trust me, they make a world of difference in your day-to-day -day GNOME experience. From smoother interactions to more intuitive controls, GNOME 48 Alpha is all about making your digital life easier and more enjoyable. Now let's move on to everyone's favorite part app updates. GNOME 48 Alpha is here, and it's packed with exciting enhancements that are sure to make your experience smoother and more enjoyable. GNOME 48 Alpha brings some significant improvements to several core apps, including GNOME software, which is the central hub for all your app needs, GNOME Maps, and Orca. GNOME software, your one-stop shop for all things app-related, gets a fresh coat of paint and some under-the-hood improvements. The interface is more intuitive, making it easier for users to navigate and find what they need. It's now faster, smoother, and just plain easier to use. Finding and installing your favorite apps has never been this seamless. The search functionality has been enhanced, ensuring you can quickly locate the apps you're looking for without any hassle. 
Gnome Maps, the app that helps you navigate the world around you, also gets some love in Gnome 48 Alpha. Whether you're planning a trip or just exploring your local area, Gnome Maps has got you covered. You'll find improved performance, better search functionality, and a more intuitive user interface. The app now loads faster and the maps are more detailed, providing you with a richer experience. And for our visually impaired users, Orca, the GNOME screen reader, receives a whole slew of updates, making it even more powerful and accessible. The new features ensure that everyone can use GNOME with ease, regardless of their visual abilities. GNOME 48 Alpha is all about inclusivity. The team has worked hard to ensure that the desktop environment is accessible to all users, providing a seamless experience for everyone. But that's not all, folks. Loop, GNOME's image viewer, now boasts some nifty new editing capabilities, allowing you to crop, rotate, and adjust the colors of your images without ever leaving the app. This makes it incredibly convenient for users who need to make quick edits on the fly. Talk about a time saver. The new editing tools are user-friendly and efficient, making it easier than ever to perfect your photos. And let's not forget about GNOME Calendar, which gets some handy new features, like the ability to view and manage your tasks directly within the app. This integration helps you stay on top of your schedule and ensures you never miss an important event or deadline. Staying organized has never been this easy. With these new features, GNOME 48 Alpha is set to enhance your productivity and make your daily tasks more manageable. Section 4 System Upgrades GNOME 48 Alpha Under the Hood While all the shiny new features and app updates are exciting, GNOME 48 Alpha also packs some serious punch under the hood. We're talking about system-level updates that will make your GNOME experience even smoother, faster, and more secure. One of the most notable additions is the new battery charge limiting feature. This nifty little feature lets you set a maximum charge level for your laptop battery, which can help extend its lifespan. No more waking up to a cooked battery. GNOME 48. Alpha also introduces some significant changes to the GNOME module system. These changes aim to improve the overall stability, security, and performance of GNOME it's all about making sure your GNOME experience is as smooth as butter. These system-level updates might not be as flashy as the new well-being panel or the app improvements, but they play a crucial role in making GNOME 48 the best release yet. Section 5, the GNOME 48 Roadmap. What's next? So, we've covered a lot of ground here, but we're not done yet. GNOME 48 Alpha is just the beginning of the journey. The GNOME team is hard at work, squashing bugs, implementing new features, and polishing everything to perfection. Here's a quick look at the GNOME 48 Roadmap beta release expected in February 2025. Final release, aiming for March 2025. These dates are tentative and subject to change, but they give you a good idea of when you can expect to get your hands on the final release of GNOME 48. Join the GNOME 48 Alpha adventure. There you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of GNOME 48 Alpha and all its awesomeness. From the well-being panel to the app updates and system-level improvements, GNOME 48 is shaping up to be a truly remarkable release. But remember, we need your help to make it happen. Download GNOME 48 Alpha, take it for a spin, and let us know what you think. Your feedback is invaluable in making GNOME the best desktop environment it can be. So, what are you waiting for? Head over to the GNOME website, grab yourself a copy of GNOME 48 Alpha, and join the adventure today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates.